Hello, this is Jonathan, here to help you install Roots Magic on a Mac. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go and get Wineskin Winery. We can go ahead and download that, and then we're going to extract the zip file. I've also downloaded the Roots Magic file right here that we're going to install. So first, we're going to extract that, and then we're going to show in the Finder. So now that it's already extracted, we double-click Wineskin Winery and click Open. Now we're going to have to click on update and add a new engine to go ahead and install the wrapper producer. Then click create bl new blank wrapper and then give it a name. I've gone ahead and already created that. It's going to create a blank wrapper. I'll show you what it looks like again. It's going to go ahead and spin. Then it's going to ask you if you want to use the gecko um, configuration. Click, go ahead and click cancel. So after that's done, it's going to spin for a while, and then it's going to ask you if you want to see it on Finder. So we go ahead and click View Wrapper and Finder. I already have multiple wrappers here. So we can just go ahead into the Roots Magic Wrapper. We're going to install Windows Software. And then we're going to go ahead and go into the Downloads, where we have already placed the Roots Magic setup. Click Choose. Now this is going to go ahead and run the installer for the Roots Magic. So we're going to go ahead and go through it. And don't worry about any of the settings. If you can customize them, that's fine. Um, if you'd like, it's best to not launch it. And then we're going to go ahead and do rootsmagic.exe. OK. Now we're going to go into the advanced menu and we need to configure some wine tricks. We need to install the IE7 wine trick. And just hit run. And then I'll go on ahead and install Internet Explorer, which is required by Roots Magic to add new events. And other things. So it's going to go ahead and go through the normal install script. Just have to agree. Don't think we need that. Now if you'd like to go ahead and add the security, that's fine, but we do want to hit restart now. So it's going to go ahead and restart. It'll just finish up as soon as this close button is highlighted. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and we can change the icon, but all we have to do now is just quit this and double click Roots Magic, and then that should do it. So now we can go ahead and use the Roots Magic on a Mac. There you go.